Hello and welcome back to another video. So today, as you can see from the title, we are doing my March collective haul. I've already done my March empties, which was actually pretty big because I also combined some April stuff. Um, and I've already done swatches for most of the things that I'm going to be showing you because I got out the swatches before doing this video. It is the middle of April, so maybe you don't care, but <laughs> Here it is anyway. If you clicked on this video, I mean, you're watching it, so thank you. And if you just wanna see something specific, I most likely already have a specific video on it. All relevant videos will be linked down below, and obviously, while you're down there, subscribe. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into every single thing that I got in the month of March. First products, so these products specifically this one started my love of the cream shop i've already heard of the cream shop like my sister used to use the little uh, macaroon lip balms but usually from ulta and i heard of the skincare but i've never like seen the actual palettes and stuff and like the lip stains and all that in stores but my cvs got like a whole new section granted in the back so if i didn't walk all the way back there i would have just never found it but these were the first four products that I got from that section. I also got a little trio before from Ulta, but again, the makeup is barely sold on Ulta. Usually Ulta only sells the skincare. I have swatches of all of these products. Every single cream shop product I have a video on, um, whether it's like together or separate, all will be linked down below, like I said. This is the Fruity Smoothie Palette. No, wrong one. This glitter is amazing duochromatic it has its own adhesive so it's perfect this shade right here is my highlighter this is a bad eyeshadow like it's basically no pigment which would be good probably for like light skin people like if this is your skin tone and you put this just all over to have that like nice sheen like how it's doing on my nose right now yes but for me, who is not whatever shade this would look natural on, I use it as highlight and it is just so shiny. It's a nice subtle sheen to where you don't actually have to like do anything. Like you put it on and then blend it out and it's just shine. I love it. Um, yeah, I, my full review shade by shade is in the video. So I'm not gonna really speak too much on it because I would like you to watch that video, but this is an amazing palette and I love it and it's pink and it's cute. Also this red. Mm, I should have worn that as blush because that is a nice blush. It's also in that video. Um, that shade has a blush. So if you want to see how I can use that on my face and on my eyes, it's in that video. This is a clear lip liner. It is in the shade That Works. This is essentially like a lip balm primer, you know, like any makeup like brand that markets a uh, lipstick primer. That's what this is like. It doesn't really do all too much, but if you have problems with your shades feathering, that's what it'll help with. This is a permanent lip juice stain. I wore this recently in my Nabla ranking video, which is highly recommend. Love that video. Um, and you can see how juicy it is in there. Again, all of these items were swatched in the cream shop haul video. But this is such a nice tint. Apparently you can use this as blush. This stains way too fast for me to try that. If you want to try it, you can use it as blush. It's what it says on the box. I'm not going to do that. But speaking of blush, I got this BT21. This is the shade K-pop Red. <clears throat> Why am I speaking like that? This, oh, I forgot it has a nice scent. It smells kind of like strawberries and it actually like, is this red i personally think you need to set it down with something whether it's this matte red in here or like a different blush some powder whatever on my skin because um as you can see a girl is very shiny and oily okay so i wouldn't wear this by itself but if you do like one little dot it does mellow out like it doesn't really grease up unless you want it to be pigmented that's when it starts like being nasty also this smells like grape juice like it's a very sickly sweet smell so if you don't really like that you probably won't like it 
also these all taste just like straight up sugar and then chemicals so don't lick your lips <laughs> but yeah these are all amazing and started my love for the cream shop so yeah and on that same day we went to sally's i got two nails ink nail polishes and technically a restock but a rediscovery of the hawaiian sky 14 in 1. this i used to use religiously in like middle school to early high school and then i ran out and i never bought it again <laughs> Um, but this is good. This is just like you throw it in your hair. Your hair is moisturized. Like it works when your hair is straight, when your hair is curly, it's, it, it works. Um, I primarily like it on the days where I want my hair to be moisturized, but like I don't actually want to do anything to it. Like, you know, get out the shower, throw this in your hair and then just let it air dry. But this is also good for like reactivating. Like if I wanted to stick up this piece of hair that just decided to stay down, I would just put this in it and then brush it up and it'll go instead of just being you know a rogue piece sticking out like it is but yeah I love this these two this is supposed to be like thermal I have two other thermal ones from Nails Inc and those actually do switch but only when I'm outside so I have to try this again because I put it on it didn't really do much underwater but now it's getting hot outside so it might switch don't know this is the marble nail effect this is like basically that jelly watercolor type look i need more of these because this creates a nice effect on blank canvas nails like let's say you were trying to do like the r nails or if you wanted to just do like white nails with like a watery effect create some mountains it's like watercolor for your nails i really like this by itself it's just blue you just tinted your nails blue but you also might want that you know I don't know your life my whole thing is that this is actually good it's just a very specific application i got it for this oh also it makes this look like jelly like these two together look like blue jelly nails it's so cute i i should have took a picture when i put it on but that was again last month and i wasn't thinking that far ahead so yeah anyways like these and great rediscovery there's also a new store on the island and it is a day-to-day -day store. Day-to-day, -day, the price changes and that's how much everything costs in the store. The day we went, things were $4. Element OP. This is like so much money at Barnes & Nobles. And Eleanor and Park, I just feel like I had this on my list on my Google Play books years ago. And I just never read it, so I got this too. But this, I know in my head that I wanted to read this. So I just got it. Um yeah haven't read them yet don't don't quote me on that um but this i know it's going to be good because it's just intriguing and this i don't know i'll get back to you i'll do like a get ready with me talking about these books i guess once i read them finally but i could probably read these in a weekend so it's not that serious Next, we went to TJ Maxx and I got two more of these because like I said, they're amazing. This is the red one and the pink one. This is the shade Strawberry Feels Forever and Peach Please. These are swatched in the first Cream Shop video because I got them like a day or two after getting those. So I just put them in there. They're at the ending though. Um, this is actually what I was wearing first before I decided to layer like five other red lip stains on top and a clear lip gloss so you know it's basically non-existent it's like one of the first layers but i used this and the valentina lipstick that i'll show you later um because i was like okay a cute little lip stain but now it's just like heavy because i put on the elf lip stain i put on this jelly lip stain that my mom got me right now i put on the essence clear lip gloss so it's just like five different layers of just red and gloss so kind of non-existent on this front but this is a good state <laughs> and it's in that video um but yeah these are good they also smell like what they're supposed to smell like the other one was called eternally grateful by the way um but these are good and i got these brushes i wrapped them in a paper towel because i didn't want to put them with my other brushes but i also didn't want to keep them in their like plastic packaging so this is what we got okay let me take these out carefully okay so first off okay this is an ultra brush that came in a bag this does not go in here that that went for last month we got these elf cookies and cream brushes 
I always wanted these. I did not know that they were going to be in a freaking TJ Maxx, but it's a good thing I didn't order them because they were way cheaper. And the Real Techniques, this is like their Halloween collection or whatever, but I specifically wanted it because first off, these little ball ends right here, people say use the back of your brushes to do like the little designs with paints or whatever, but these are actual little balls. So that's way easier, just pop, 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 you know? And also they're easier to hold because it's a skinny thing and also a wider end if you want to really grip. These are soft. I only used either this purple one or this pink one. I just know it was a fluffy one. I feel like it was the purple though. And yeah, they're soft. It's real techniques though. I've most of my brushes are real techniques, if not elf, if not morphe, if not wet and wild. Like I don't really have that much diversity in my brushes because I I like real techniques and they're cheap and their sets usually include these tiny brushes and I have small eyes so I need that and that's another reason why I wanted this this right here look at the angle I can get into without actually having to like contort my hand because it's bent by itself this I guess is supposed to be for eyeliner I don't actually remember because I know this is supposed to be like for your brows you know with the spoolie on the end but I think this is supposed to be for eyeliner but even just to like smudge out a shadow or get right in a corner perfect so yeah haven't used all these yet but they're good oh also I used these two elf brushes classic elf <laughs> all these brushes are good um yeah this this Ulta one too I just this doesn't go here I don't know why it was in the paper towel with the rest of them the first purchase that I made for the month, everything else my mom had bought me, this was $28.31 to get these two blushes. This is On The Mauve and this is You Had Me At Merlot. I always forget this one. I just know it has something to do with Merlot. First off, this one is broken. Like, hey, come out. Now that I'm trying to take it out, it doesn't want to, but it's broken. They are magnetic though so that is a fun thing to learn from one of these being broken there we go these are magnetic so if you have minimal glue like mine had or you just want to pry them out you can get them out pretty easily i think and they're magnetic so if you don't want to keep them individually you could just take them out but yeah i oh we good Okay, so I primarily got these two because on, nope, Call My Blush is the lightest in these intensities. This is like set up where it's three or four in each intensity. That's how they set. But yeah, that's how they set these up. And I wanted to get the other intensities because that's the lightest one. And this on the mauve actually is what blends into my skin tone the most. By itself, I would say this is like the powder version of the Rare Beauty Grace Blush um, because it has that like purple pink thing. And I mean, it's called on the mauve, so obviously it's gonna be a mauve color, but it just, it looks the same as the gray shade. I love that shade. That's the only full size that I'm like definitely going to get if they don't make many soon because once I run out of all the blushes that I will not even run out but once I'm done with buying all these blushes that's one that I have on my list to get in a full size because I had a sample from Sephora anyways the point is is that these are the other two intensities and I wanted to try them this is quite dark this is more similar to NYX's uh Red Riot blush I have that one the Red Riot is more satiny, like you see more shimmer. This is like flat out matte. This has some shimmer in it, so it's not flat out matte like how Call My Blush and You Had Me At Merlot. I can't remember this one for the life of me. Um, but yeah, these, these are good. They're amazing. But this is the first purchase that I made in the month, and it was during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because I figured why not get two for the price of one, um, especially when I just spent the full price the last month because I didn't know these were gonna be on sale I would have just waited <laughs> but yeah they were on sale so I got these two I paid full price for the other one because I needed that one 
Like that's the first blush I ever actually finished. It's a lot of talk about blush. All to say I like them and I bought them. Um, but anyways, next product. Next, we went to Walmart. We went all the way to Jersey to get Lysol. Yes, that is exactly why we went there. We got other things, obviously, but that was the main goal. Um, but I saw these. This isn't what I was looking for, but it looked like it was in the bottle. So this I got because I thought it was like the LA Colors Holographic. That dried up on me. Like, it's literally gummy. I can't use it. Um, and I don't want to spend $15 on Holo Taco <laughs> because... Even though I love Christine Lake, I watched Simply Nail Logical before Polish Mountain, okay? It's just a lot of money for nail polish when, like, you can get it for cheap. Like, LA Colors was, like, a dollar a dollar tree before it was $1.25. And I can't find that shade again, obviously, because why would I be able to? So, yeah, I thought this was going to be a good replacement, but it's not. This is way chunkier glitters. I really don't like it because it's, like, full-on, like, glitter, like, confetti glitter. Um, this is finer, but it also has the same, uh, holo holographic glitter, but it's like a pink to orange duochrome. Anyways, the whole point is that these Salon Perfect nail polishes in the shades, It's Your Birthday 362 and Teenage Fever 360 are nice, but not what I was looking for. So I will obviously keep them and use them but wouldn't recommend them. And then next, I got two makeup products. This is $5, okay? This is the Call Me Sunshine palette from Wet n Wild. This is, I think, the first Wet n Wild palette I've ever bought. Well, I didn't buy it, my mom bought it. Um, And I wanted this because I heard from Sarah Rose that this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Honey. And even though I really did want that palette, like when it came out, every single time it was on sale, I talked myself out of it, so I was like, I'm not gonna get it now, even though it goes on sale like constantly. Why would I even get it even 50% off, 60% off? Like, what was the point? But this was $5 and it's supposed to look the exact same as that. Plus it has, where is it? That duochrome up there. That is similar to my favorite shade in the ColourPop Limoncello palette. I swatched this in a short, um, so you can see it there. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. Actually, I'm not gonna even do the thing where I zoom you in on video because you never see it. Here's the freaking picture. There, look at it. Um, this is good. The mattes are super duper smooth. They basically blend out into nothing. They just mattify my eyes, which I love. And the shimmers are pigmented. <laughs> so yeah, I actually really do like this palette and it's not bad for $5. Like I would pay more for this, but it's a good thing that I don't have to, you know? And last but not least is the e.l.f. O Face Satin Lipstick. This is the red one in the shade, hello, No Regrets. I, this is the one red product I'm actually not wearing um, because it's actually pigmented and kind of more liquidy. Like it doesn't stick or grip to your lips the same as a normal lipstick would. Like. I got a MAC lipstick this month that like stays where you put it like this would be like you could dot a little bit in the middle and blend it out and it would look like the same as a lip tint. Also it does kind of stain a little bit if you want to have that sort of effect you can just dot it all over your lips and then blend it out like a lip tint. Um, but yeah I like this I just wanted to get it to see what the hype was about and my mom was actually gonna buy it so I was like okay let's get it. Um, it's fine. I haven't tried the NARS lipsticks, so I don't really know if they're similar, but people say that they are. Mm. I just like it. It's a red. I have a problem buying reds. I just decluttered most of my reds and I, I just, I keep getting more. <laughs> like it's red or brown or black. Those are the colors that always get me because I know for a fact that those are the colors that I'm going to wear. So I constantly buy them even though I know that I have my favorite. So why do I keep doing that? But yeah, that's all I got from Walmart. Before we move on to the next half of the pages, these are some random things that I got that I didn't really include, but I also wrote it on the side, so I'm gonna just say it. This is a nine pack of just cotton rounds from Costco. I asked for another one of the CVS cotton rounds, and she got me a nine pack of the Costco cotton rounds. I don't even know if these are gonna take the acetone, the nail polish remover, 
the same way as the CVS ones will because these look more like, you know, facial toner, eye makeup remover type cotton pads. So if these don't work for that, still gonna go to CVS and get those. But if they do work, I have nine packets of them because I definitely need this all at once. It definitely doesn't take me one oh. entire year to use one of these. <laughs> Some other random products are the Olaplex number no. three and these two perfume samples. These I got when I ordered my cousin her Sephora stuff. And this was in the pickup order actually. And they just gave two of these. So I was like, okay, one for you, one for me, perfect. This is this is my payment for picking it up because it was just easier for her to just send me the money and I go get it instead of her run around and go to Sephora. So yeah, I also had some uh, coupons from my Sephora Hello sets. So even better incentive. But yeah, these were that. One of these, I don't remember which one, I think this one smells like like clean baby powder. Love it. Last two random things. This is the Valentino lipstick in the shade 22R, I think. Yeah. This is their like standard shade. This is a hundred point perk, but instead of it being a point perk for me, I went to the Valentino Zoom and that was the Sephora event gift like three months ago. So you know, why would you give somebody a scarf in winter when you can give it to them in spring? <laughs> so that's what I have here. This is a scarf from Sephora. This is this was the the gift for the month, and and this. So I spent a hundred points, the same as you would, just to get this to go to a Valentino Zoom where they demoed the products and to get a scarf in spring. That's that's what I got. But I I love it though because I was literally saying it in a different um, video. I think it was the last collective haul or maybe. A different video I don't know the whole point is is that I was saying it and the day I went to edit the video this came in the mail like excuse you why are you rude so yeah I I cut my losses I was like well they probably sent it and I didn't pick it up because the UPS truck just comes and like if you don't know you have a package thing you just don't know um so I was like okay well I'm out 100 points oh well sucks to be me um but no, it actually came the day I was saying something about this. So that's fun. Next two products went to CVS again, obviously. Now I got the Cream Shop That Beach Palette primarily because of this shade right here, this glitter. This is the glitter, you know, like if you want to have a holographic, like iridescent type look, that one. There's already a video up on specifically this. Don't even worry about it. So like, if you wanna see swatches or whatever, wanna see it on my eyes, there you go. Um, this, I just recently wore like two days ago. Um, this is a nice, nice purple. It's very sheer and very like barely there, but you can still see that it's purple. I like it. This too, it's like a blue green duochrome. Like it's literally like sea foam. Um, and I don't really like this glitter. This is the one shade I don't like. This is a nice blue. It's the same as that red shade where it's blue, but it's so sheer, but you can also build it up. Like it's just so soft. I love it. Like if I put this on my entire face, it looked like I was blushing blue, you know? Like it wouldn't look like I, I put on eyeshadow. Like compared to let's say a ColourPop blue eyeshadow will look like I put on blue eyeshadow. Um, but yeah, I actually really like this palette, even though I only got it for that one shade. I found other shades in here that I actually do like. Um, but yeah, full review in its own video. You can go see that. And this, I actually have two of these because my mom got one for me, my sister, and herself. This is hers. <laughs> and I'd, mine's in my purse. So I took hers because she doesn't like the smell. I kept spraying it and spraying it and spraying it. And she was like, ew, what is that? Like she always does every single time that I get a scent hand, san hand sanitizer. And she was like, oh, if that's how that smells, then I don't want it. So this is hers. Um, so that's why it's still in the packaging. But this actually smells good. It's lavender and vanilla. Yeah. From Brompton and Langley, whatever brand that is. But we got it from CVS in the travel section. And I love these little spritz things. So yeah. 
Next two items. This fan. Cute little bunny and it's pink. Um, my mom ordered these two things from this lady who sells random things on Facebook. Yep. Um, that's, that's all I can really give you for a description because there was no store involved. Um, this is a nail polish remover macaroon and this is a pink bunny fan. You can apparently get these on Amazon though. But this is so nice and it's gonna come in clutch when it gets hot because it's a manual fan. So, don't even have to worry about batteries. This is a problem for like, you know, hands stuff so like if you have arthritis or anything like that maybe not the best thing to get but like for makeup for like just skincare drying just anything fast this is gonna work don't know how it's gonna work in the summer like you know heat wave type heat because it has not reached that point luckily <laughs> but this is a good fan so far i really like it and so far it has not broken so that's fun um these nail polish remover things, I don't really know if they work. I feel like this is like that cheap stuff that usually comes with those uh, kid nail kits that I have a lot of experience with because my mom used to get me them all the time, you know? That shimmer and sparkle and all that. Yeah, that's just oil. <laughs> I have nail polish on, such a Veet and such a Clear because I was trying to preserve this nail that clearly did not get preserved, but it did break a bit higher than it was. So I'm not left with like red skin and a nub. I'm just left with the nub this time. So let's see if this actually did something in the let's say 20 seconds I've been scrubbing this. Ooh, oh, it worked. Look at that. And my nail is moisturized. Okay, I see you. Well, that was just a live demo of that. You're welcome, I guess. And Such AV is thick. Like even some regular nail polish removers can get off Such AV. Like it, it takes a minute, you know? Gotta use those little clamps or just hold it there for a very long time. So the fact that that actually worked, that is not bad. I'll actually use these. This might become an empty pretty quickly. <laughs> so you know if i remember to use it obviously but uh that was that was good and that was a live demo look at that new discoveries are happening next item that i actually bought is 14 dollars 15 this was half off for the ulta 21 days of beauty i am making it my mission to get all of the cuties and i think that they're done with them so that means that the last one i need to get is the fourth one the metropolitan um but this is the nude. This is the first one. And I skipped on it two years in a row because I was just like, eh, I don't really need it. And now that I have it, eh, I don't really need it. <laughs> like, at least I knew myself. But this is a good palette. I actually really do like it. But like I said in my video, that actually went up today as I'm recording. So, you know, it'll be linked down below. But also, kind of, sort of, subscribe, look at my channel. It'll be there. Um, this is a very natural palette. I like this shade right here, this like light, light champagne gold, but also I have this exact same shade, just a bit darker in the analog palette, which I actually do love. And most of these are creams, like obviously you have the shimmers and everything right there, but these are all like creamy textures. So they fade on my oily eyelids. Um, they did last a bit, but if you're trying to do it like an all night type thing, maybe we use like a good matte primer with some powder and set it with some urban decay you know um because while these are good these do crease uh a bit more than my other Nava shadows and I have like all the cuties almost and one of the big palettes the secret palette so yeah I also did a ranking of every single Nava palette that I have I haven't ranked this one before I got it and honestly where I put it is the spot that it should be in so yeah <laughs> good ranking on my part even before actually getting the palette so if you want to see where I ranked everything you can go ahead and watch that video but if not this is at the bottom somewhere just know that because even though it's a good palette it's not a need I would not tell anybody like this is the palette to get this is a palette that you should have on your radar save to your loves list you know like for that it'd be like the platinum the midnight even the berry which i really don't even like because all the mattes are like dark i would even say that because the alchemy shade in there is 
so yeah anyways the whole point is is that this is the first one and it's very evident in the fact that it is not as good as the ones that they learned their mistakes from you know yeah i went to primark and i got these pearl earrings these aren't actually pearls like they're more of the um sea shelly type you know these type of pearls where they're not like actual round pearls but they're still like pearls <laughs> um i got these because they're cute and it would go with my hair pearls that i have and if i want to like look cute with pearls all over it this is a good thing i also have the little sticker pearls too essentially i like pearls <laughs> and i found these at primark and they were only four dollars and fifty cents i didn't buy them again if i didn't say a price that means i didn't buy them so yeah these are four dollars and fifty cents the color is apparently yellow that's what it's marked as but these are not yellow in the slightest so i don't i don't know what primark's doing um but yeah cute i like they like i would have worn them but like would it go doubt it i also did not do my hair so i wouldn't even have put in my pearls or anything yeah i also got a stranger things shirt mine was half off so it was seven dollars but it was originally 14 and my sister she got hers and that was 14 straight so mine was cheaper and it looks better in my opinion um i don't watch stranger things don't ask me about it but she does <laughs> um so yeah i just got it because it was cute and it was seven dollars again i didn't buy it but um, again, we were in the mall specifically, so I could do the back to Mac thing before that ended. And this is the shade that I got. Like I said, if I'm getting a lipstick, it's going to be black, brown, or red. Um, so yeah, this is the shade 809 Film Noir. It's their satin finish shade. I wore it in the nude um, video, the Nabla nude swatch video. And I also did a short of this specifically swatched on my arm and on my face but it's the same look from the novel nude video don't tell anybody um but freaking yeah this is the shade that i got apparently when i searched it because i searched it after the fact because i went to the store first and i was just like let me just choose whatever they got because i have these empties that i was meaning to back to mac for years um and I was just like whatever they have is what they have it's gonna be a free lipstick regardless because i've never actually paid for a mac product from mac my mom got me all of those um it was three items from the Aaliyah collection one free lipstick from lipstick day and two she got when she was going to barbados and she was like let's get some lip kits and some mac lipsticks and i got kylie lip kits when they were cool i was honestly so hyped like i was waiting for the week to be over so i could get those color lip kits they were dry and crusty but i loved them the colors were immaculate and nothing i ever had and also like i said that was when they were cool so i got a hyped up product when it was hyped up also when my mom didn't buy me makeup that often so yeah getting a mac lipstick and kylie lip kits in the same thing mm. now i could just basically just pick up something and be like i want and i get it but back then it was like a fight to wear like lip gloss it was crazy anyways tragic backstory over um <laughs> this is the lipstick that i chose and what i was saying is that i searched it up and apparently this was like a popular shade on rihanna so that's an interesting little fact to know about this shade specifically it's a brown but it has more of like this red undertone more reddish purple like it's deep like it's a deep deep red but you can see that it's red like it doesn't look just straight up brown like and heavy on the the brown side it looks more reddish brown even though it is a brown shade i like this it's it's good having an actual mac lipstick in my collection again because i did buy myself the um the mini in chili when i got the mini tarte maracuja juicy lip which i finished that quick now i have a full size and that's just never ending it's actually crazy and then the freaking um the mac chili i had to declutter because it was orange like that i like reds like this not like orange that was crazy um but yeah this is my only mac lipstick that i have in my collection now and it's important and cute and 
a timepiece, if you will. And the last thing that I got is these sandals from Charlotte Russe because it was by, it wasn't even by two. It was like, yeah, two for 20. That was the deal. And my mom got herself some sandals. So I was like, well, I'm a second person. I'm here. So I got myself some sandals. I'm not going to pick them up because shoes always end up looking dirty when I show them on camera. But just believe me, they're black sandals. They basically look like slides, but they have a platform like this big. And that's what they look like. It's not that important. <laughs> But yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I personally only spent $42.46. Ah! And it was only on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty stuff, I think. Because, yep, everything else was just random things. So my mom was like, oh, this is cute. Somebody needs to wear it. So I have it now. Um, also, I got my eyebrows started for the first time. I did put some color in them with the e.l.f. pencil that like I always do, but this is this is how I want my brows from now on, you know? Just clean up the edges, because I used to shave it, but I could never get it like in a shape that I wanted. But now that I know what it's supposed to look like, that's what I'm gonna do. But just had to say that, just in case you were wondering why my eyebrows looked a bit more structured, I got them threaded. It was only $7 in Brooklyn, like, ew, cheap. That's the end of this video. I like every single thing that I got. I am probably going to be a bit late on the April one, maybe. I'm just, just don't hold me to it is essentially what I'm saying. I'm going to be doing my declutters and that's why I'm gonna be a bit late because I kind of sort of want to just do those and get it over with. And I will be doing my inventory video after the declutters um, because doing it before doesn't really make any sense at this point. It's just an extra video with extra work because I'd have to do another inventory as soon as I declutter because I'd be changing the count. So yeah, declutters are coming up. So if you like that, subscribe. If you don't like that, well, still subscribe. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you to not subscribe, you know? And you can even thumbs down the video. Engagement's engagement. Like, if you don't like declutters, tell me you don't like declutters. I won't do them. I mean, I will, but just not individual parts. I just do it for me. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz, and I will see you in another video. Bye!